Listen, 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 okay? I'll be the first person to tell you, and I said in videos, I would love to see the Bengals trade for Hayden Hurst and for Samaj P. Mine and bring them back, right? Samaj P. Mine makes more sense because he's literally on the contract that we offered him. So it's like, pretty much, we're just signing him later and giving up a seventh round pick, and we could also probably get a seventh round pick back, and it would be even, right? But Hayden Hurst. Not so much. He went out there and he chased the bag. And I respect him for that and I honor him for that. But at the end of the day, he took a three-year, $21 million contract. That's not what we were offering him by any slight imagination. And yes, while yes, he did play part of that contract so far this year, he played a total of six games. So it's less than, you know, like right now his cap hit is $3.1 million. But he took, obviously, he played part of the year, so we wouldn't be paying him that full $3.1 million. We would probably end up paying him based on, like, the amount of games he's played, which he has, what, 11 games left? So we'd probably pay him around two... I don't know exactly the math. But we wouldn't pay him the $3.1 million. We would still have to pay him ten point oh five next year. That's still we'd have to pay him. There is a potential out in his contract after year two, which says um, potential out 2025 two year fifteen point uh, two million dollar contract. So if you want out of his contract after next year, you would have to pay him two million dollars. So pretty much you could have him this year for around two million some ish dollars, and then next year for ten point oh five, and then after that you can get out of the contract, pay him two million instead of paying him eight point five the following year. <clears throat> So again, the contract, while it's not the most craziest contract of all time, you have to remember, again, he left us, he went and chased the bag, and he wanted to go play over there in Carolina. And at the end of the day, I think Carolina, with the young quarterback Bryce Young really trying to rebuild, they're going to keep him for those three years. He's going to make the most money humanly possible for that team in those three years. I think he's going to get that third year. I don't think they're going to opt out. If we trade for him, we would have to opt out after the second year and pay him $2 million and that wouldn't be right to him, and I don't think he would want that. So with that being said, let's react to Bengals Twitter because Bengals Twitter right now is going crazy, saying bring back Hayden Hurst. We have Drew uh, right here who talks about would you welcome Hayden Hurst back with wide open arms? And I would... But again, it would come down to a lot of different factors. And again, I've said this many times. If Carolina is willing to pay the salary, part of the salary of his contract, then okay. Yeah, I have no problem at all, and I'm fully okay with that. But I don't think they're going to. And that's a huge problem, right? It's that we're not going to give him the money that, you know, we didn't give him before. Like, nothing has changed since before in the offseason. They didn't want to pay him the money. They're not going to want to pay him now. Like, I, as it says right here, I'm glad Hayden Hurts is trending. Let's keep putting it out there. We all know his mother has seen multiple posts, so Hayden has to. And again, even if he would love to come back, I'm sure he would. There's, like, and again, I want to stress enough, I want him back. But the problem is, it just doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense from a, you know, cap space type of situation because you might say, well, okay, well, we'll trade him. We'll get him this year, right? We'll get him this year for like $2 million. That's pretty much nothing. And then after this year, we'll trade him. Well, no, because no one's going to want to trade for him first off. And if you put the money in the cap space, again, keep in mind, getting Hayden Hurst next year on a $10 million contract you're telling me now we're going to be, well, first off, T. Higgins' contract is out of the out of the question then. $10 million for one player, that's out of the question. You have Tyler Boyd, you have Cheeto, you have DJ Reader. Like, you have all these players on contract year. You give $10 million to Hayden Hurst, you're losing all of them. Is Hayden Hurst better or worth more than all those guys? See, there's always things you got to take in consideration. But, again, I know it's awesome. It's fun. It's, like, an exciting thing to look at and say, you know, bring him back, bring him home, as we have right here. But it's just, like, would he add to the team? Yes. 
would he give us, you know, a huge contribution to the team? Yes. And I think he would help our offense immensely. And again, I would love to bring him back. It's just, they would have to pay the contract. Uh, and again, that's not really outrageous if you have seen the history of football where there have been teams where trades have gone down because of that. But you got to think with Carolina is if they're like, there's no reason for Carolina to sit there and say, we need to get rid of this guy, especially if they're not getting really anything in return. If they're trading and paying part of the contract and giving up pretty much getting nothing in return, then what, what would be the point for them? Just to get a little bit of money off their books. They have the salary cap to be fine with Hayden Hurst's contract. That's why they paid him the money they paid him. And they'd rather probably keep him for their young quarterback to develop around. So, again, I love the concept. I love the idea. And I love the fact he's trending. Because at the end of the day, you know... Wait. I see people saying the Bengals should bring back Hayden Hurst via trade. No, they shouldn't. Look, he was fun last year and played with great energy and passion. But his production wasn't worth that, what the Panthers gave him. You can't trade for the contract. You can't trade for that contract. They should add a tight end, though. And again, thank you, Cole, for kind of bringing back my point here. It's like, yeah, it would. it's a great idea in context. But the sad part is, right, because in... In, like, the perfect world, we bring back Hayden Hurst, right? We bring back Samaj P. Ryan. We give T. Higgins a new contract. We give Cheeto a new contract. We give DJ Reader a new contract. In a perfect world, all these things happen. But, as Mike Brown said, it's a piece of pie. The salary cap is a piece of pie. If you give $10 million, which is a small chunk of that salary cap to somebody, everybody else suffers. You know? Him for Hayden and Hurst, who says no. Hakeem Davis Gaither. Why, again, why would Carolina trade for Hakeem Davis Gaither when he's been out the last four weeks? Well, yeah, I'm sure. I, I'm i okay with this trade. But, like, that's like saying, would you, uh, we're going to trade a guy, Hayden Hurst, who actually has a little bit of, like, good production left in him for someone who hasn't played forever, pretty much. And might not play for the next three weeks. So, yeah. Exactly. He's not He's not making $22 million. They're not going to pay him that much, man. They're not. I do agree with... I do agree with that last one. That, you know... go for, Going forward wide with Yoshi instead of, like, Hayden Hurst. Yoshi would be better potential. And I do agree with that. I think that there's a lot of truth to putting Yoshi in that tight end slot. Not as a tight end, but as, like, you know, a tight end slot. I would not be against that. You know, we got to start utilizing Yoji a little bit more. Last week, he had his first touchdown. And while that was kind of, like, scripted to be forced to him, I still think it would be awesome. But, yeah, again, there's a lot of talk. Like, don't get me wrong. There's a lot of talk around this and a lot of, it. you know, a lot of things to talk about. Um, We work his deal bad. See, this is the thing. Why would he rework his deal? He went and got paid. He went and chased the bag. And I respect that. But why would he now come back and say, Oh yeah, I'll take less money to be back with Cincinnati. He could have took less money to stay on Cincinnati in the first place. Right? He could have took almost no money to stay with us. But instead, he left us because he wanted to chase the bag. And that's why we got Irv Smith. So, I don't know why now... He would be like, oh, yes, you know what? I made a mistake. I don't want to chase the bag. Like, no, he's living his best life with all the money that he made. I'm not saying he doesn't love us or like us, but he does. But, yeah, there's just no point. Bengals packaging him up with Hayden Hurst. See, Terrence Marshall is a player that I know a lot of people have been discussing that we should trade for. And that wouldn't be a bad idea because his contract isn't that bad. But I just don't think with our receiving core we have, once Chuck Sizzle comes back, I think we're fine. Hayden Hurst back to Cincinnati. Yes, please. <laughs> Go trade for Garrett Bowles, Hayden Hurst, and please make us make a play for another safety. If you aren't going to use Battle and Anderson, please. Well, Battle has been playing a lot, so I wouldn't agree with the fact they're not using Battle. They're not using Anderson. I don't know exactly why. He has not had a snap this year. Um, But again, like I said, it's like... 
I don't know. I, I and Garrett Bowles, I saw that, you know, the the Broncos up to trading him. And I agree, you know, he played tackle most of his career, but right now I believe he's playing guard. So he'd be a replacement for Volson. But I said this many times when it comes to uh, trading for someone or getting rid of Volson, is that it's not going to do what you think it's going to do. You're not going to trade and get rid of Volson, bring somebody else in, and they're going to be the best thing ever. It's A lot of it was the play calling. A lot of it was the scheming. And I think that, you know, like again, you run every single play out of shotgun every single play. I don't think you can bring somebody else in and, you know, do a very predictable offense. I know it's going to be different now, but I'm saying in the past, you, uh, you know, bring someone into a very product, uh, very basic level predictable offense and expect things to be different. I mean, that's like, what is it? The uh, definition of insanity is doing the same thing on repeat and expecting different results. You're never going to get different results if you keep doing the same thing. Guys, tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. I'll see you guys next one. Peace.